Hey guys, hope you're all doing great today. Yesterday I did swatches of Too Faced Holiday um, Le Grand Palais palette. And um, so today I'm going to do swatches over Tarte's, what's it called, Light of the Party collection here. I'm not really going to call it palette because there's like palettes. <laughs> there are like two palettes in here. Um, anyway, I have only used these on my eyes one time, but I've played around with all the shades. I've, you know, touched them, swatched them, and messed around with all of them. Um, so this is going to be just mostly a first impressions. This isn't a full in-depth review. But as always, I'm obviously going to play with it quite a bit more. If you have more questions about this palette, leave it as a comment below and I will answer it as best as I can. I'll do that for you guys. So anyway, um, yeah, let's get into this here. Here is the packaging in case if you're trying to find it in stores. This is what it looks like. Um, and like I said, it's called Light of the Party Collector's Makeup Case. You turn on the side and it shows a picture of what comes inside. And then on the back it says Tarte Holidays. Delight and dazzle all season long with a sequin collector's case overflowing with must-have holidays essentials, including a travel-friendly eye and cheek palette. So that is all with this box here. And you take it out and this is what it looks like. Not exactly a fan of the design. I personally, I, I, I think it's kind of ugly. <laughs> but that's okay. It's what's on the inside that counts. But anyway, I don't know. I keep looking at it. I think it looks like a jack-o'-lantern. Like there's a nose and those are the teeth. Or else it looks like a bat or just, I don't know. But anyway, it's sparkly. I like sparkles, so that's okay. So we open it up and it's squishy. It's nice and squishy. It has a zipper and that's how it keeps closed. And you open it up and there's a little travel palette up here. It's so shiny that it's blinding y'all. And then we have quite a bit of shadows here on the bottom part too. Um, it also comes with a sample size of their um, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And it also comes with a double-ended brush. You know, a lot of times with pal when palettes come with brushes, they're usually kind of crappy feeling and this one doesn't feel so bad. I, I used it to blend out the shadows, which are from this palette by the way, to blend it out and it did a pretty good job. So impressive. I will actually maybe use that one. So um, okay. One thing I do not like about this design. Yeah, it's cool that they have this little palette that you can pop out, but as you see here, I don't know if you can see, but it's so shiny. I still have the stickers on here that came with it to keep it on there. If not, it's just going to fall right out. And, oh, by the way, there's a there's a nice size mirror down there. So, um, yeah, this is just going to fall right out. And I'm scared that, like, once the stickiness of the stickers wear out, which they're about to, that maybe one day when it's closed, I don't know if there's enough wiggle room in here or whatever for the palette to come loose. And what if it just, like, nicks one of these eyeshadows and creates, like, a chunk taken out or something so that's my concern with it I don't know why they would include this big old thing here just to be able to plop out and not have some way to secure it so that's that's my complaint with it so um anyway this palette right here it is $59 and according to Sephora it is a $394 value it is limited edition it's a holiday set um, there are 30 eyeshadows total so you get quite a bit in here from the small palette and the larger eyeshadow portion. Um, and out of the shadows, there are 13 shimmers and 17 mattes. So if you're a fan of matte shadows, then this is the palette for you. Usually it seems that with most palettes, they're mostly shimmers and then just a few mattes thrown in, you know? So this one is um, an exception. Um, but I think Tarte tends to do that. I don't have many Tarte products, so anyway. Um, also, on this smaller palette here, you have a bronzer and you have a blush and you have a highlighter. So yeah, this one comes with six shadows and the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. So if you're like in a hurry and want to create a simple look, you can just grab, pop this on out and be like, I'm on my way to go and create a full look with this. So <laughs> that's pretty neat. So yeah, you, you bronzer, blush, highlighter, eyeshadows. That's pretty much a look in this tiny little thing, so handy. Um, yeah, what else can I say about it? Okay, um, 
Like I said, I'm not super familiar with Tarte, but I do have their Rainforest After Dark palette and a couple of other ones. And it seems like these ones are maybe not as pigmented as the other ones that I've tried. Like this one right here, Sugar Cookie. I put it on and it's just it's kind of a really light wash on my skin. I mean, of course you can pack it on. I've already tried with these ones, packing it on, and they they do, but you know, it's not just like super pigmented where it takes less time to do a look, you know? You dip something in the brush, you want it to be covered, you want it to go on nicely to where you don't have to dip it in and pack again and dip it and pack it to where it finally gets to that intensity that you want. And it seemed like there are a few that were like that in this palette. There are also some that were quite pigmented, so I think maybe they're just kind of, uh, just kind of hit and miss though. Um, but, you know, a lot of times when I say that something is a miss, it just like will not stick to your eyes at all, or it's real crumbly or something like that. Like I said, with the, with the ones that I found that were kind of like that, they did, um, my hair is doing something weird, they did build up to the intensity that I liked, so there's a plus in that. Anyway, like I said, I have not played around with it a whole bunch. That is what I observed while I used the shadows on my, the ones that are on my eyes, those are really pigmented and worked really great. But um, like I said, there are a few that are just kind of, kind of not as pigmented. You'll see in the swatches. Why am I going over this so much? You'll see in the swatches. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I'm going to say about this for now. Let's get into the swatches and let's get into the swatches. All right, I'm starting off with a smaller palette. The first eyeshadow is called Popcorn Stand. Wrapped up. Dancer and Prancer. That one almost blends into my skin. Shining Star. You'll be surprised. Mulberry and Bright. There's the Bronzer Social Butterfly. Blush Amazed. And lastly, the highlighter Pink Champagne. So these are all of the eyeshadows, the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter from the Travel Palette. Now we're starting off with the first row of the bigger palette. This one is called Sugar Cookie. Next is In a Flurry. Fizz the Season. It's Snow Time. Eggnog. And what a wonderful pearl. And those are the first row. Second row, Miracle of Light. Rum Pum Plum. Tartini. Baby, it's gold outside. Peach on Earth. And come what gray. So, all of these are the first two rows. Starting off the third row, we have Under the Missile Taupe. Rainbow 
bring the link fireside chat Party favorite Gingerbread Mansion and Chrome for the holidays. And that finishes up the third row. And for the last row, we have Slay Watch. Mold wine. Cocoa, what fun. Black velvet. Hot chocolate. And Midnight Kiss finishes up the last row. Those are the last two rows. All right, guys, after seeing the swatches, what are your thoughts on this palette? The reason I chose this one to do for you guys is because this is the one that was requested the most out of all the ones that I showed yesterday. So, you know, I figured that a lot of you were interested and I wanted to see... Now I want to know what you think about it after seeing it. Um, so anyway, yeah, let me know. Are you going to pick this one up? Are you just going to leave it? Are you going to wait so you can actually play with it in store or stuff? Let me know. I want to hear from you. And like I said, if you have any questions at all, ask them and I will help you. <laughs> all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, please do thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not already and you like my other videos. I would love to have you here with me all the time on YouTube friends. <laughs> anyway, guys, until next time, goodbye. Hey, guys, hope you're all having a great day today. Well, it is only September, and it is 88 degrees here in Houston, yet the companies are coming out with their holiday palettes. It does not feel like holidays at all. There's the Too Faced one, there's a Tarte one, here's one of the Urban Decay palettes, here's the Kat Von D Mavita Loca Remix palette. Guys, I am so overwhelmed with things to show you guys but it will get done but and today we're going to start off with the Too Faced Le Grand Palais